I'm going to be talking about things that I recommend having in about the first month after you have knee surgery, specifically in my case it was ACL surgery and surgery on my medial and lateral meniscus. So the first thing I recommend is anything that your surgeon or doctor has told you that you needed. So this varies from surgeon to surgeon. Some people are informed they must use certain braces after surgery and different people may be prescribed different medications. So you want to make sure to do whatever your surgeon and your doctor is telling you. The second thing that I recommend is having an ice machine. I was able to borrow actually two from different people I knew and they actually make a huge difference above just having ice packs. It's basically like a cooler with a hose attachment and then a pad that is based on whatever body part you need it for and you just fill the cooler part with a bunch of ice and then water and it circulates the freezing cold water through the pad. But if not, make sure you stock up on extra ice packs because you will need to use them a lot, especially in the first few weeks but in general in the first month you're going to want to be something else you're going to need after surgery is crutches and if they are uncomfortable for you then you can always wrap um, towels or padding around the top part that goes underneath your armpits to make them a little bit more comfortable and you will need to use them as long as you're instructed to um, i just was able to get off of both of mine at about two and a half weeks and a little tip is to Check around at your local Goodwill before like purchasing them for, uh, from a hospital or doctor because I see pairs of crutches there all the time and they're like less than $10 but they're really expensive if you buy them from the doctor or hospital. The next thing you really want to have after surgery is movie, book, podcast, etc. recommendation. It can be really hard to figure out what to do next or what to watch next. So I really suggest that you like make a list and I also really recommend that you try something like reading even if you don't normally do it because it does get very boring to just sit and watch TV or shows um, every day all day. I'm going to leave a list down below of some of the things I've enjoyed um, after my surgery. Another thing that's been really useful for me in the first month after my surgery is a little pill container like this. They are normally labeled with days of the week but I just put some label stickers on it and then I was able to write in what I wanted and I also put a sticker on the bottom so that I can make a note of times if I wanted to. So the way I ended up labeling it was morning and night because there was pills I had to take every 12 hours and then I labeled it pills that I could take every 4 hours and every 6 hours. I tried labeling it by time but I would always get off on one of the times and then it would mess up the rest of the day so I found it easier just to split it up by how often I could take the pills and then if I needed to I could make a note of what time I took the first one. The next thing I suggest you have ready beforehand is um, some way to secure the ice on your knees. So for me, I have this sleeve that my mom cut out of an old shirt. So I just slide that over my leg to protect my skin from the ice. You don't want the ice directly on. And then I use two um, wraps like this and I just wrap it around my knee and the ice or the um, ice machine pads and tie it and this just helps it stay on there it also puts a little bit of compression to make sure the ice is completely on there and it just helps it stay in place so I can move around a little bit and make sure I'm still getting ice. Something else that I really recommend is having a ton of pillows and blankets around. You want to have more than you're used to and more than you even think. For me at least I struggled with being really cold because of how much I was icing my knee so something that helped was to use a separate blanket on that leg than the rest of my body to keep it so that the ice, the coolness from the ice wasn't going underneath the whole blanket. And then also you're going to want a lot of pillows because you're going to need to elevate your leg. You're going to want them to help you sit up and if you can get a hold of like a sit up pillow, those are really nice to be able to sit up against like a wall. So in general you're just going to want to have a lot of pillows and blankets around you so that you can make sure you get comfortable, have the right amount of things to elevate your knee and stay warm during the recovery process. I also recommend considering um, taking like a stool softener because if you are on pain medication then a lot of times people complain about constipation and it can be really really bad. So my doctor recommend recommended a specific stool softener for me and that's what I used. So of course make sure to check with your doctor first 
and ask for their recommendation, but that's something I would consider getting ready before your surgery rather than what I've seen with a lot of videos of people constipated still like five days after their surgery haven't um, pooped at all, so a stool softener can really help prevent it from getting that bad. You might want a few um, exercise bands and a roller to help your recovery, so lately I've been doing some massage on my knee, but my IT band and parts of my calf are really tight and sore as well. So it's nice to just have a little handheld roller to be able to kind of roll out those spots and roll out um, your leg. Some good places to roll out include your quad, um, your hamstring, and your calves because if these places are really tight, it's not going to help your knee mobility at all. It's a good idea to consult your physical therapist or doctor before you start foam rolling. The same thing for the bands. I've now been adding those in in my physical therapy session, so it's nice to have some at home to be able to replicate those exercises. Another thing that can help your rehab process is to have ankle weights. So again, it's something I've been adding in at my physical therapy session. It's been nice to have those around because I can just add them into my program. So those are a few of the things that have helped with like the exercises are ankle weights, bands, and foam roller. Something else that is very important to your recovery process is to have someone that can help you. So I really suggest that you try to get into a situation where you can have someone that's able to help you um, get meals, help you get up when you need it, and things like that, especially in the first week, but possibly longer, depending on the restrictions of your, sur your specific surgery. So those are all the things that I found super important that have, that have really helped me in my first month um, recovering from my ACL meniscus surgery. Like I said, the first thing to consider, like I said, the first thing that really matters is whatever your surgeon prescribes to you and tells you that you need, that comes first and anything else and the rest of the things are just things that I think can really help you during this process. Of course, don't do anything without, don't do anything that your surgeon doesn't recommend without speaking to them first. This will just make sure that you're doing the right things for your body and to ensure um, your recovery. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe to follow the rest of my journey.